So at the top you've got the, uh, the cladding and then you've got the wooden balconies. For four and a half years, Mike Gross has been in limbo. He can't sell his flat in this tower block because of fire safety issues that could cost £14 million to fix. When the government announced a building safety fund last year to do exactly that, he told me it gave him hope. But 11 months on, with a new government promise, he is no further forward. I welcome what Michael Gove has said. I think it's a positive step forward. But for ourselves, we're still waiting. We, we applied for the Building Safety Fund about a year ago and we've not um, got any money yet. We're still waiting. We don't know how long we're going to be waiting. And you're still having to pay out? Yes, we're still paying out and I think we'll be paying out for a long time. The Grenfell Tower fire in 2017 killed 72 people and exposed a fire safety scandal with building blocks wrapped in combustible cladding or with balconies that burn and faulty fire doors. After £5 billion pounds of public funding, there are still thousands of leaseholders who face crippling bills. Now the government says the developers must pay. To those who missold dangerous products like cladding or insulation, to those who cut corners to save cash as they developed or refurbished people's homes, and to those who sought to profiteer from the consequences of the Grenfell tragedy, we are coming for you. It's the grey stuff at the top. For the first time, leaseholders like Liam in a low-rise block are being acknowledged, but it's not clear if issues other than cladding will be included. I'm cautiously optimistic, but it's, it's a guarded welcome. Uh, we've been here before with the government making a big money announcement that grabs the headlines, allows them to get legislation through Parliament, and then nothing changes, so we need to see the details of how this plan will be delivered. The government says big developers must come up with plans to replace dangerous cladding by March or face a new tax to pay for it. Gerard Tubbs, Sky News.